Tinder. Miss Orozco here, and I'm happy to join you on today's Reader's Workshop. So yesterday we learned about different types of books. We learned about storybooks that tell us a story of a character, and we also learned about learn about the world books. That's right. But I'm here to tell you that there's also different types of reading that we can do. So you probably already know about independent reading, and that's when you read your book. Hold it with two hands, your eyes are focused on the pages, and you are engaged and you're enjoying it by yourself. But I wanted to tell you that there's also something called partner read, where you read with another person. You share the book with a friend. So not only do you get to share the book with your friend, but you get to share all the cool things that you've been learning and you can talk about it. Now, I want you to watch as I independent read. I want you to see what my hands are doing, what my eyes are doing, and what my head is doing because I want you to see what independent, good independent reading looks like. And this is what I want to see when you independent read, especially when you come back to class. I want to see all that beautiful independent reading. Okay, so I have this Learn About the World book, and this is what Independent Read is. Wow, this book has a lot of insects. I bet I'm going to learn about insects with this book. Okay, nice bright colors. Wow, this insect I know. I know that that insect is a ladybug. Oh my, so the first page has a big bug in somebody's hand. Ooh, that makes me feel a little gross because Miss Orozco would not put an insect in her hand. Ooh, maybe some of my friends would, but not Miss Orozco. Ooh, wow, this beetle is called the cucumber beetle, just like the cucumbers that I love to eat. Mmm. Oh, this makes me happy. It's like a baby beetle. I like babies. Ooh, this one looks scary. Oh, I don't want to see it anymore. I think I'm going to skip it. Oh, and the bee. I love bees. So friends, that's what independent looks like. I want you to look at the book. I want you to have feelings about it. I want you to get excited. You know, sometimes we can get scared or even grow out like Miss Orozco did when that, when that little boy had a beetle in his hand. So when you read a book for independent reading, it's like, you are experiencing the book and you're thinking about what you're looking. Sometimes you think inside your head. It's a little voice that tells you things. And sometimes you think out loud like Miss Orozco did today. But either way, that's what independent reading looks like. And I know you're going to do a great job. So reading helps me learn and you want to feel what you're learning. Because when you feel what you're learning, it stays in your brain and it becomes a part of you, remember? Next, I'm going to show you what partner reading looks like with the help of two of my favorite friends. Let's see. Oh, tiger. Tiger, look, that's a tiger. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Yeah. Um, it's the same picture. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, they did such a great job partner reading. And what did you notice? Yeah, let's talk about it. So I noticed that they were sitting side by side. And so I'm going to do that with my partner here. That's right, this is my partner. His name is Fluffy. And we are sitting side by side. My elbow is touching their elbow. My knee is close to their knee. Now, does it go? here when you share the book? No. Does it go here when you share the book? No. It goes right in between you and your partner. Yeah, this way we can read it to each other and this way we can have both enjoy the book just as much as we did 
with independent reading. So friends, let's review the three things we do when we partner read. Number one, we sit side by side. Remember, elbow close to elbow, knee close to knee. Number two, the book has to be in the, the, in the middle between both of us. Yeah, so that we can both share the book. And finally, number three, we need to seesaw read, just like the seesaw in the great playground. We have to take turns. One reads the book, then the other reads the book, and then I read a page, and then they read a page. Y'all are gonna be the most amazing partner in reading. I cannot wait for you to be in my room and read with me and read with your friends. So now it's gonna be your turn to practice. So what you need to do is you need to grab two things. One, I want you to grab a book that you love to read, one of your favorites. And then I also want you to make sure you have a partner so that you can practice partner read right wherever you are. Yeah, you can go ahead and pause it here and then come back when you're ready, okay? If you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and move on. So friends, you're gonna see on the screen a sign that says independent reading. And it's gonna be followed along with some brain music so that it can help you concentrate. And then we are going to flip after those two minutes and we're gonna do partner read. And the partner could be your mom, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, cousin, grandparent, or a stuffed animal, just like Fluffy here. He's gonna help me partner read today. And you're gonna have two minutes on the screen for partner read. So you can practice everything that we've learned today. All right, friends, are you ready? So please, please make sure that you practice your book today. Make sure you practice independent reading and partner reading. I can't wait to see you here doing that in my room.